Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with another vintage necklace refresh. So I kind of went ham on a lot of vintage necklace um, auctions, but it's okay because a lot of them I want to just wear as they came to me, but I did get more of these coral necklaces. I got a bunch of them, and they're very heavy, and this one actually got damaged in shipping like the last one did. Um, a couple of these discs broke, um, and the seller was really sweet, and they were very open to the feedback that I gave them. They're like, hey, probably should probably be bubble wrapping these if they're breaking, but um, I already refreshed that one um, coral necklace, so I don't need one that's all red again. I know that one had a little bit of black in it, but it was really funny. I got these in another haul and had them next to it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to replace some of the red with turquoise. Duh. <laughs> and I just really think the I want I'm not going to actually use these because um, I want to keep the long ones in the necklace this time instead of the round ones and then I'll just put these into my stash. But um, I'm going to replace all of the ones that aren't like the longer tubes with some um, carved beads. So I pulled out a bunch of stuff to see what's going to work best. So I have some carved melons. I have, these aren't carved, but I wanted to see what they looked like next to it. And I don't think that's what I'm going for. It's, it's how light, it's pretty, but it's not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to put those aside. Um, I got these in Tucson um, in, I think, September. And that's just a little more blue than I want to go, but I I like the I like the carving of it so we'll see um, I have some these are like tapered and they're smaller so I have some bigger um, melons and then um, I just have like various carved turquoise beads that are from the same people and different people so it's just like I I think I like these the most. I think I got these from Pam Cosman, but I'm not 100% sure. I think that's exactly where they came from though. So I'm thinking, I like how turquoisey they are. And we're gonna be replacing one, two, three, four large ones. And then, oh, I also brought these out, but they're, see they are blue. Mm. They're just more, I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera, but these are more blue, these are more teal. Um, like greeny and um, but these match these so what I could possibly do is where there are these barrels um, put like a melon I don't know I don't know the first thing I want to do is um, let's see we also have these I don't know <laughs> I don't know how many more times I'm gonna say that I know I'm not gonna use these because I only have two of them um, I also got out some he she beads um, to maybe replace some of the thinner coral pieces. I want to keep some of them in, but um, I also want to maybe put some of these in. So what I'm going to do is make sure I take a picture of this this necklace before, and then we'll get. To, I'm going to take it apart, get some new components, and we'll get started. All right, so I'm going to start. I already took the picture of it, so I can refer back to it while I'm reassembling. Um, I am going to be removing quite a bit of the things that are on this necklace. I like the look of the brass with the coral and the turquoise but i'm not going to be reassembling it in exactly the same way plus they were bold and made this an over the head necklace it is it fit over my head but somebody with like a really big head just is not gonna be able to get this over their head um it's really i'm just gonna make it for me anyway because i would never get rid of this <laughs> i mean dire straits maybe but um no we're we're keeping this so let me get everything pulled apart So I just wanted to show you how they um, originally put it together without a clasp. They crimped it right here and hid one crimp inside of one of these large brass beads. And then they crimped it right here and hid the other one inside of a large brass bead. I think it's pretty clever. All right, everything is sorted out. Um, so there are four different types of coral beads. So we have the larger sticks, which I'm absolutely keeping in this necklace. We had um, the hishi beads or discs, um, which I will be keeping some of those. These large, these huge ones, 
those are gorgeous, um, are just going to go into my coral stash. And I, I don't know what, this is vintage, um, and I know it's obviously dyed. It could be bamboo coral. It could be old real coral. I don't know. I'm not an expert, and I'm not even going to research because it takes a long time to learn all that stuff. So um, this is just going to go into my stash. It's gorgeous. I love them. They look like little wheels of cheese, don't they? <laughs> The way the places my mind goes, and then um, we also had some of these um, shorter, um, rounder sticks. So these are actually just smaller of the big ones. I don't know if I'm gonna put those back in. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm definitely. I actually might because I don't know that this is gonna be enough red. But um, yeah, so we're definitely gonna keep these. This is broken, so I'm gonna toss that in the trash. Um, and then I don't know what I'm gonna use out of here, if anything. I'm gonna go through my um, African drawer, or my ethnic drawer, and get out some brass. I definitely know I don't want to use any of this silver, so this will just go in my, um, all of these actually, will just go into my um, metal bead soup. These are actually plated metal, or plated plastic. Um, is this broken too? No, that one's okay. I like these little guys. They're not all the same color exactly. And then I don't think I'll be using them this time. Oh man, some people got upset about me using <laughs> patinaed um, brass beads in the last video. I'm like, uh, no, I did that on purpose and I love the way the patina looks on them. So I'm not cleaning them. I don't know if I'm gonna do that in this video, but I'm kind of just getting everything into its own little group so I can see what I have and kind of make some decisions. So, um, move this a little forward. <sighs> I had four of those large ones and I only have three of these. I do have a bunch of these. I just have to kind of decide which color turquoise I wanna go with. This one's just deeper and richer. Um, this one has more of a wow factor. I don't know yet. I still haven't made a decision because if I go with these, I can use <clears throat> the melons um, as the replacement for some of these. And then if I go with these, I can use these carved beads, which I really like. Too. All right. So I'm going to check my, my uh, metal stash and see what we can come up with. All right. So I brought out some um, different pieces of brass just to see if there's anything I like. I actually really like those together. I like these. Um, I have some brass in here. I don't know that there's anything I really want to use in here. This guy's really cool. Oh, that's a big mama. Um, I like these cubes. I have more cubes on a strand over here. And then I just got out some, some spacers um, and some really teeny tiny spacers. So I don't know what we're gonna be doing. I think I've decided that I wanna go with the bright blue, which is not, that's really surprising to me because normally I think I would go with, because this is more my favorite color of turquoise, but I really, really just like the bright blue with, with the red. And I could get like halfway through this necklace and change my mind. <laughs> We've done that before, but I think we'll see. I keep saying that. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So I'm just going to kind of get out because I know I want to use these and slightly like very cool, um, very similar, um, pattern and, uh, from where I started. So at least with, where the um, coral sticks are gonna go. So we had like one here, one here, and then there was a big red one right here. And then we had three of these um, between this, st uh, a stick here and this stick. And then we had another single one. We had then another one of these, then a big one, then this, then a big one, one of these, and a big one. I'm not saying I'm gonna do the exact same design, 
but it's going to be, like I said, very, very similar. Um, I think I'm going to get, I'm going to move the camera up and get my necklace mat. This is not like the front of the necklace. I'm just putting one down. So then I think, yeah, I really just, I think I really want to go with the bright blue, which is shocking to me because normally I go for the turquoise. I think that's what's really going, messing with my mind <laughs> is that I wanted to do the bright blue. And you know what? Some of these are larger than others. They're very similar, but some are more round and some are more oval. So I want this one right here. And then I think we'll do, I'll need three carved pieces. So I have two of these larger ones, not in love with how large those are here. Ooh, I have a smaller one. We have a bunch of the um, cylindrical ones. And, oh, we have more of these. All right. Bear with me. I'm just kind of figuring it out. I know I'm missing. Ah, oh, here they are. These are smaller. Okay. So it's not like really a redesign. That's why I called it a refresh. I really want to stick with the original designer's like aesthetic, but make it my own using beads to refresh it. So let's go with this one. This one, I am going to pull in one of these. can't decide if I want to do another tube or put a tube in here or just use the round ones. I think I do want to put a tube in here. I, it was the first thing that kind of drew me to this color combo while they were sitting on my desk. And then we come back to our carved, I don't know if these are scarabs, I don't know what they are. And then this guy, I know you're probably like, what is this girl doing? <laughs> Got a method to my madness. just got to decide is that too much blue is it enough blue I just feel like there should be more red but we are gonna get more red in here by getting these in I might I probably won't use the other he beads now that I'm looking at this I think I like that. I get it's adding in more beads, which is going to add more length, which is what I wanted, and um, it's breaking up 
all I mean that was just a lot of blue for me and I'm just gonna double check that I still want to stay with the bright blue going back towards the turquoise problem is I only have three of these and I need four but I could just use a large melon I have to check to see if I have any of these from the last makeover um, in my stash. I have more necklaces like this. That actually, I have another one that I'm going to take apart because I know I'm not going to keep it like this. This one is so large and in charge. <laughs> and there's no way I would keep it like this. So I have some of these extra pieces on here. And I'm just going to cut this apart and use them. In this design now that I see all this red I think I am gonna keep the bright blue I'm just gonna I like them both. All right, while I'm thinking, I'm just going to slip the turquoise in there for now and then kind of switch them back and forth until I design the necklace. I, I don't know what to do. I, I honestly don't know what to do. Um, I actually might slip these back in here. And if you don't like the patina, great. I like the patina. I'm going to love that it still looks vintage. Um, we're going to go. And then I have some from the other necklace because I think I'm going to need them. But what I'm going to do instead of putting these back in with these like little bullet looking beads um, that I love, I'm going to put them in with these. Um, brass uh, spacers maybe even smaller brass spacers so just gonna get one of these between every bead Goldie's like mom you know it is you know what time I always do the videos after work and if we haven't eaten yet she gets a little huffy I also don't have any brass beads or bole beads uh bowley beads I don't know how you say it that look or this uh that look like that or are that small so okay now it's looking a little bit like a hot mess but I can see it in my mind's eye I'm going to love this necklace. And these two I'm going to stack together if I keep those in there. Because I, I needed a fourth one of these and I only had three. So... Okay, and then it looks like I have three left for maybe a bracelet to match which I wish I had another one of these so I can make it into a bracelet but dang I don't 
that's how the cookie crumbles I guess because I do want all three in here all right and then I might actually put another one of these on this side because I'm losing some length by eliminating these beads and it's quite a bit once you look at how many are in here so I think I'll put another one of these right about there so then I'll need another one of these and then four more of our chips which the ones from the second necklace I busted up are very much they look much older but you know maybe they're just kept in worse conditions who knows um, I think I can't remember if I did two strands in the last necklace but I don't think I did because I don't think it would have been possible to get two strands through um, these bamboo coral pieces um, I am going to get out some 19 strand bead stringing wire and we'll get to getting um, I think I don't know where the back of this necklace is. I don't know where the front of this necklace is. I think um, they had intended this to be the beginning of the necklace, but are like the front, like the focal of the necklace. But I definitely think it should just be on the side. So um, that might be the back of the necklace, and I might put some more coral on the back, depending on depending on what it, it looks like. So I'm just gonna start right here. four of those these spacers I think I'm just gonna do let's see what it looks like with one yeah I think one's fine I think two is a bit much this will be in the back so I can fix that later All right, I am just going to go ahead and string the rest of the necklace. Okay, I'm in love with this necklace. I love that this is asymmetrical. It's making me super happy. All right, so I am using this beautiful hook and eye clasp to um, close out my necklace and I added a few more brass beads to the back. Um, I just thought this clasp looked really nice. Um, I originally was gonna go through and put some crimp beads in be uh, like inside um, throughout the necklace, kind of like, you would with a pearl knotted necklace but it just it wasn't working out for me and I'm just gonna take my chances I know this is a very <laughs> heavy necklace and actually I realized I can fit two strands through it so if I get really paranoid I might um, restring the whole thing but I'm not doing it right now um, I am gonna be using some nicer crimps these are beetle on crimp tubes 
and I have some um, wire guards. I usually never use those, but I think this necklace can use all the help it can get. So um, I'm going to go ahead and slip this onto my um, clasp and kind of squish it once it's on there. Okay, so we have it on there like that, like a, just like it would be a jump ring. And then we're just gonna kind of squeeze it a little bit so it's not coming off. There we go. This also helps guide your wire um, and keep them from crossing when you crimp. So I'm just gonna slide it in through one side. And then back down. And then back down through our crimp tube. Um, I chose a gold, I didn't have any beetle on um, crimp tubes in brass. I didn't even have crimp beads in brass um, from them. And so I'm actually, actually, I'm going to undo that a little bit. And then I'm going to come down through as many of these beads as possible. Now this doesn't really add, well it doesn't add any stability to your necklace, but if I mess up, I haven't cut off my um, wire, I can try it again, or let's say it comes undone on the other side, I can, without restringing everything, um, crack off this crimp and use some of the length if I need it. Last resort most of the time. Okay, so I have this just loosey-goosey on the table how I want it to drape. And I'm going to grab my um, uh, guard up here and just pull. And I'm seeing there's gonna be too much gap there. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and pull it through a couple of smaller, thinner beads here. Actually, I'm gonna pull it back out um, right here because it's, I'm having trouble getting it through that, that chip. there's going to be a little bit of slack once the hang like once I crimp and the necklace hangs because um, the crimp is going to disappear inside of this uh, brass bead um, like it did over here so I'm just trying to make sure there's a, the least amount of slack as possible while it's still in loosey-goosey mode <laughs> so we're just mushing everything to the other end as much as possible. Okay. And we'll just crimp. And we'll snip this wire as closely as possible. Here's our beauteous necklace. And there is some slack. So, um, and then uh, this is coming out of this bead weird, weirdly, so I'm gonna cut it a little bit further up. Sometimes you'll have that with the hollow beads that have the hollow sides. I didn't even think about that. We'll snip in there and just make sure you do not snip the main wire. That is not going to be good for you if you do. All right, much better. Now, when I hang this, there is some slack, but it's not enough. I don't think I'm going to put a crimp cover on because 
that'll make the necklace a little too tight. But let's get these out of the way. And look at it. So I did it from this way, but I don't think it really matters. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's asymmetrical, but still beautiful. And um, I just, I really love it. I feel like I still honored the original artist, but put my little bit of flair on it by getting the turquoise in there and um, made it long enough to, for me. So um, here's a picture of what it looked like when I started. And then I'll, of course, include pictures of it now. Thank you so much for watching. I don't think I'm going to make a bracelet because um, I would have to use, I think, these. And I don't really want to do that. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, maybe I'll make a bracelet in the future if I end up getting some of this color carved beads. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye.